Learn choosing the best birth control method. Hello ladies and gentlemen, today at Health Next we are looking at birth control methods. Let's look at the factors to consider. Before choosing a birth control method, number one is the effectiveness. How important is preventing pregnancy? Number two is hormonal versus non-hormonal. And do you have concerns about hormone-related side effects? Number three is protection against STIs. Do you need protection against sexually transmitted infections? Number four is convenience. How easy is it to use and remember? Number five is cost. What is your budget? Number six is potential side effects. Are there specific side effects you want to avoid? And number seven is long-term plans. Are you planning to have children in the future? So, that's what you need to consider. And now let's look at the types of birth control. The first one is hormonal methods. Among hormonal methods include, combined pill and this one contains estrogen and progestin. We have got progestin-only pill or what we call mini-pill, this contains only progestin. Another hormonal method is patch, this one releases hormones through a skin patch. We have also got what we call ring, and this releases hormones through a vaginal ring. Another hormonal method is shot or what we call depo provera. This one is an injectable hormone given every three months. Another one is called implant. This one is a small rod inserted under the skin, effective for up to three years. Another hormonal method is intrauterine device. This is hormonal or copper device inserted into the uterus. So those are the hormonal methods. You can still make a review. Now let's look at the barrier methods. Number one is a male condom and this one covers the penis very well. Secondly is female condom, this covers the vagina. The third barrier method is diaphragm, this is a dome-shaped barrier placed in the vagina. Next is cervical cap, this one is similar to a diaphragm but smaller. The fifth barrier method is called spermicide, this is a chemical that kills sperm. Those are the barrier methods for family planning, now we are going to see the long-term methods, those methods that take long but before we see them I want you to know that this video is sponsored by Marjo Cybertech. And don't forget guys to subscribe on this channel for more videos. Without wasting time let's go straight to the long-term methods and method number one is called tubal ligation, this is a permanent female sterilization. Number two is vasectomy and this is a permanent male sterilization. There you go with the long-term methods and now let's see the natural methods of family planning. Number one is fertility awareness. Here you need to be tracking menstrual cycle to predict fertile days. Number two is withdrawal. Here a man will be removing the penis before ejaculation. Number three is outer course. This includes avoiding vaginal penetration. There you go. Now let's see the highly effective methods. For the highest effectiveness in preventing pregnancy, we have hormonal IUDS implant, sterilization, tubal ligation, or vasectomy. You should know that only condoms male and female provide protection against sexually transmitted infections. Let's now see the side effects of these methods so that by the end of this video you can choose the right method for you. The methods we talked about at first called hormonal methods can cause various side effects, including changes in mood, weight fluctuations, and irregular bleeding. So, you need to be aware you of that. Here at Health Next, we recommend you to discuss your options with a healthcare provider to determine the best method for you. Also put it in mind that the best birth control method is subjective and depends on individual factors. It's crucial to consult with a healthcare provider to determine the most suitable option for you. Would you like to discuss your specific needs or concerns? Feel free to add a comment and like our Facebook page normally our logo in blue and green color. Subscribe for the next video. Health Next. Life Secure.